Good morning, everybody. This is Nun Defense on the Grublet account on the team Grublet YouTube. We are still just rocking and rolling, working our way up the leaderboard. Let's go ahead and check them stats. One zero two. Well, we were one zero four yesterday. One zero two is a better number than one zero four. So maybe um, brief celebration. There you go. We brief, briefly celebrated. Everybody wins as a result. Nice. All right. Our roster is completely full. If you're looking to join this team, you need to join Grublet's Gang. We will be kicking off some of these members who haven't been attacking. So, uh, yeah, y'all guys get started on that. Just pick, pick some losers and get rid of them. Y'all take care of that. Good job. All right, so we briefly celebrated. We looked at Grublet's gang. Now I guess it's time to do a speed review. All right, to start things off is Munt, of course. Three boats, three bombardiers to clear off some of this gunboat energy. Using some bombs to sweep some mines. Now dropping his girls over here. There was a brief moment of history where we just could not do right on this base, but it seems like things have settled back down into a state of normalcy. Now we're on Munted. Did a little hack job on them shock launchers. More bombardiers over here to clear these short-ranged defenses. Long-range troops versus short-range defenses. Well, there's only one way that can go, so thank you so much for that, Munt. Working himself closer and closer to them rockets. Managed to get one. Bart Jr. What a great guy he is. There's nothing else I can say about him. I've said everything. That's why we're grateful for new members to join, so I can stop talking about Bart, and I can talk about some other things for a little while. But here we go, him doing the normal bits. Shocking, shocking, smoking, smoking, winning. Now this is Boomstick. Welcome to the team. Cue applause. He is a high level Zuki user. A jack of all trades. Brilliant work. Brilliant work. Now Bart. Current star of our team, star of the channel. I do believe thoroughly that people tune in to see Bort. I mean, there's a handful of people that are here for the Grublet show. Well, I'm here for the Bort show. So, what does that tell you? Thank you so much for this, Bort. Just running up the side, beginning uh, the project of clearing off the right side of the base outworks. Bronze Richard. If I ever get to visit Australia, I hope to visit Bronze City first. He and I can draw wieners in the sand. That'd be great. Good, good fun for everybody. After that, Bart. He's following up on what Bron was doing over there. I just, I love watching the Australians attack. If they, uh, if they invited me to narrate. A film just of uh, um, a, a task force just of them I would do it and I would be honored because that would be a great time so now we're on Spinkles dropping the girls clearing off this side this is a math attack it's about to pop and pop beautiful work nothing to it there kamikaze driven by an Australian Clear, running them bombardiers to just kind of, we're trying to get access to those shield generators. Braun soon again. Just following up on the plan. The goal is to set outworks up for a right side beat down. Well, in order to beat down the right side, you have to clear the right side. And we are working on that. I say we, I mean them. But, you know, it's like the English we. 
Spindrift knows about that. Beautiful work. So that's kind of the wrap up phase there. Let's have a look at Smoky Crab. Former number five best crabber in the United States. This last round was a, uh, you know, it was kind of weird, but uh, he still did really good. Every everybody did. Sal was the highest ranking member on our team, but he did not break into the top fifty, so that's why I did not do a specialized tribute video on the subject. But you know, everybody who watches this channel knows how much I love crab, knows how much I love Sal, Don. Braun, Bart, who's next? C. Derm's cousin, oh jeez, you know I love C. Derm's cousin. So he's over here, this is a bombing run, it's long, it's cut. And we're checking in the end, he did not get the wind, but he took down tons and tons of damage on that thing, so thank you for that C. Derm's cousin. You truly are everyone's cousin. Spinky did uh, hacking on that shock launcher just to get rid of it, which would free up some room for Zookas to stand. In the grand scheme, Zookas are better than bombers. Bombers just have more range, so they both have value. But if you can, uh, if you can get some Zookas in there, that's definitely a smarter way to go. This is Dad the Beast. Dad, welcome to the team. Cue applause. So both Captain Boom and Dad, uh, they're friends. They came from other places together. They arrived more or less together. And uh, they were very c confident in the chat. Very friendly. Asked questions. Told jokes. Love it. Thanks, thank y'all so much. Y'all stick around. We mean business. Like, I, I know this channel, I just tell jokes and be goofy. And in the chat, you know, we, you know, Bronsoon's drawing wieners and all that. Like, I know, I know that we're a goofball, but I, but you also see our stats. We are pushing and we are pushing hard. So now we're on Commander Chief against the base. Humble Pie, kind of just stick, sticking with the standard shock and fight strategy, making things happen. Spin Drift against the base Minotaur. So this is typically treated as a solo victory. Let's see if he can pull off the solo. And pop, pop. Nice. Heck yeah, King Charles would be proud of that. Now we are on the Wild Wonder, Mr. Don. Real life quadriplegic. I don't say it to make a big deal about it. I just, I want you guys to know whenever you're complaining, it's like, oh, Boom Beach is so hard. This man can barely move his freaking body and he finds a way to get it done in Boom Beach. It's not always perfect. It's not always pretty, but let me take away the use of your arms and uh, see how well you play Boom Beach. This is Sam Bam really coming together. So glad Sam uh, came over from the Grublitz gang. You see that? Promotions are real. So he was essentially on the minor league squad. We sent out uh, a message on the, via the videos that like we need monsters. And he said, oh, okay, I'll step up to the big team and hope it works out. And I'd say that it has. You're coming along there, Sam Bam. Thank you so much for your participation. I mean it. Boom Bitch Angie, driven by me, of course. Got the Bombardiers. I, uh, ultimately, I did not get the win. It just, there wasn't enough time. Like, may, maybe I misused some of my time. I don't know. I don't know where it all went. But in the end, I was not able to successfully get the victory. And that's a dang shame. Just a dang shame. But what can you do? Got it pretty close. So I put the name Evil Joe on that base and knew he would get around to it once it was convenient for him. And sure enough, it was convenient for him. And he just went straight bombardiers. No stress. Easy win. That's the most <clears throat> smiley faced I've ever seen. You're not allowed to use the R word, but uh, if you were allowed to use the R word, I'd have definitely 
or word at that smiley face. Captain Boone, once again, welcome to the team. You got some shield generators. It wasn't pretty, but uh, it was great. I mean, you did it. Go Broncos. So he was shooting for, for the moon here. He, he had his eyes on the wind. It's hard for me to know exactly what went wrong amidst all that chaos, but it didn't happen. So now it was Grublet's turn, and Grublet was like, well, the, I can do a couple of things to at least make the walk a little bit easier. So I bombed away that shock launcher, managed to hack a couple of the rockets. I sent some Grublets over here for no reason other than I had them. You gotta use them. You can't bring Grublets home alive. It's just really, it's really not encouraged. This is Big Sal. Oh, Big Sal. This didn't work out. I promised him a sad song. Cue sad song. I'm sorry. So sorry. That I was such a fool. I didn't know. Love could be so cruel. And uh, so I went to bed frustrated, and uh, I was, wasn't even going to do this attack on Gus Pistol. And then I woke up this morning, and somehow Gus Pistol managed to win this base. Am I booming in my sleep? What's going on there? Well, alrighty, we did it. We beat the operation. We went up on the leaderboard. If we can get one more victory... And I think that makes us in the top 100. We'll see what happens, but, uh, you know, 102, that's pretty dang close, right, team? All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I want to thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me. If you ever have any questions, comments, opinions, thoughts, suggestions, ideas, or whatever, please let us know. We will help. You all have a beautiful day. Thank you.